You know who had himself a heck of a game yesterday? Red Wings' top pick and recently acquired defenseman, Simon Edvinson. Now, we made a video a few days ago going over Edvinson and his call-up to the Red Wings and how this was the time to get excited for the guy. But guess what? That excitement continues, and it's thriving right now in Detroit, as after three games played, Edvinson has finally scored his first NHL point. And it happens to be a goal. Yesterday for the Wings against the St. Louis Blues, you had yourselves Edvinson score his first NHL goal about 30 seconds into the contest. Now, we didn't know it was Edvinson's goal right away. The puck kind of took a long route to get to the net, and there was a big crowd in front. It was Matt Luff's goal in a lot of people's minds for the first few minutes, and then after a while, it was announced on the broadcast, oh, it's actually Edvinson's goal, his first NHL goal in his third NHL game, so good for him to get that on the board. But aside from the goal, Simone Edvinson has displayed some pretty good hockey over the past three games, and it's been really nice just seeing the transition of this guy from AHL to NHL, and even though he is only 20 years old, he recently turned 20 back in February, this is a player that's played with such poise and... Do I want to say skill? Okay, maybe not necessarily skill, but just competence. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. That a lot of Red Wings fans are looking forward more so to what the future holds for this guy. As we had talked about earlier on in the season, Edvinson was a part of the Red Wings, and he was in a potential spot to maybe making the lineup in October, but he didn't. He was not ready, and a lot of Red Wings fans said, okay, in these preseason games, Edvinson certainly is a guy, like, if you wanted to throw him into the NHL, I don't think he would be terrible, but there are still some other parts of his game that maybe need some ironing out. The consistency, the transition game, the confidence, the breakout passing. You kind of need a little bit of an extra gear out of Edvinson before you can really definitively say, yeah, this is an NHL-caliber guy. So, sending in the Grand Rapids, allowing him to marinate a little bit with professional hockey in North America, it was a pretty good decision, seeing as the guy in his rookie season had 27 points in 51 games played, 5 goals, 22 assists. You started to see him working on those things that we had talked about, he became a little bit more confident, he started having that swagger on the ice a little bit more. And now, as a member of the Red Wings in this three-game sample, you've seen so many good clips out of this guy that it becomes all the more intriguing as to where he's going to go next year. You've seen a whole bunch of clips on social media. Everybody's copying and pasting all of Edvinson's good plays, and it's for good reason, because he is playing such a solid game so far that, okay, you have the Lindstrom versus Edvinson thing that's been going on. Oh, Lindstrom in, Edvinson out. Yeah, no, Edvinson's a much better player. Like, he just makes such good decisions with the puck, he gets things done so calmly, especially under pressure, and he's just playing such an all-round stable game that it's kind of difficult to look at October and say, yeah, no, that's the same guy. That's the same player we saw do what it was that he was doing and play those games and still only being less than 21 years old because he's playing so much better now that he got rewarded with his first NHL goal the other day, and it's a very good sign to see. In fact, he scored the goal, yes, but after the game, he wasn't really all too happy about it. In fact, he said he was a little bit more ticked off that he got two penalties in yesterday's St. Louis game, rather than the fact that he was happy because he scored a goal. And that's sort of the temperament, you know, the attitude that it takes to win and become a true winner at the NHL level. Hey, even though I scored, I'm still kind of ticked off because I could have been better. I could have not been called for two penalties. And that's sort of the mindset that a winner has to have in the NHL if you want to improve and you want to be better. So when it comes to Simon Edvinson, he's been playing very well. If we look at the game log recently for the three games he had played, he played 15-34 against the Colorado Avalanche. They lost 5-1, zero points. 14-17 against the Florida Panthers. They lost 5-2, zero points. And then against the St. Louis Blues, he had 14-49 time on ice. One goal, of course, for the one point. He's been playing pretty sheltered minutes, which isn't a bad thing, like having him play an amount of time where he could get used to the speed of the game while not overworking the guy is probably more than appropriate. And of course, yesterday you also had the Jake Wallman snipe take place about a minute after the Edvinson goal. 
So that was cool to see, but then the Blues kind of struck back and they scored four unanswered before Alex Chason got things going in the third period with two minutes to go. But either way, even though the Red Wings lost, you still had some pretty small victories bring themselves up, and the biggest one happened to be that Edmondson performance. You know, I said this a lot two years ago or three years ago, excuse me, in 2019-20, when the Red Wings were a bad team. They were barely beaten out in the draft lottery. They went from first to fourth overall. And I said the entire 2019-20 season, hey, this year, it's all about little victories. This team is not going to be good. So for anybody who's a Red Wings fan, you got to find the small things to cheer about. Hey, a guy goes out there, has a hat trick. Boom, you cheer for that. You talk about a prospect that's doing really well in Grand Rapids or Moritz Sider doing as well as he was doing in his progression that year. Boom, there you go. Every time the Red Wings suit up and they lose, just focus on the good stuff. There's a lot of good going on with the Red Wings and their rebuilds. So little victories like these, these are the ones that you got to put your attention to. And right now, because the Red Wings are still doing pretty poorly, I mean, they're not a playoff team. Yet, uh, I mean, there was a wild card battle going on there. We're not going to go out there and get into that in this video, but Edvinson doing what he is doing, that's a little victory. Him scoring his first NHL goal in front of his family, I believe, too, which is very nice to see. That was a little victory that I think signifies the potential growth long term for a guy that's going to be sticking around on this blue line for a very long time. As for expectations into the future, realistically, if Edvinson plays maybe like every other game from here on out, that's probably fine. Just give him a cup of coffee and continue to allow him to know what it's like to be an NHL player playing at this level because, you know, if you assume he's going to play 82 games in the NHL next season, that's a big task for a guy that has mostly been playing European hockey over there across the pond. Not to mention as well, it's probably in Derek Lalonde's best interest to have Edvinson maybe playing less than 17 minutes a night in an 82-game season next year, just to allow him to really ease into that role. Now, if Edvinson has a crazy off-season where he works out like crazy and he's amazing and he's a beast absolutely jacked next year and he shows off as well in his first rookie full official season like Moritz Sider then okay boom do whatever you want with the guy but just trying to look at it from a rational standpoint you can't expect everybody to become Moritz Sider if he does become Sider then great I'm not going to complain about that but if he's not which let's just say 95% of hockey players aren't then just try to ease him in next year. If he's able to consistently get 15 minutes of time on ice while not getting too difficult matchups and maybe put up 20 points in the process, I think that'd be a pretty good rookie season for Edvinson, considering where he is and what he's supposed to be. But you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about whether or not Edvinson has it in him to have that type of a season next year. Also, let me know in the comments all your thoughts about how he's performed so far. In the three-game sample he has had, he hasn't played every game since being called up. He's been scratched a little bit, subbed in for other guys, and it's been okay. I mean, the Red Wings are not really fighting for a playoff spot much anymore, so just using this last part of the season as development fodder, I think it's a pretty okay move, but you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Either way, all your opinions about Edvinson up to this point. I hope you enjoyed this British Rolls 9 and bye.